Hello guys and welcome to my latest video. In today's video I'm going to teach you and you're going to learn how to make dedicated servers uh, for use for online and LAN for Quake.js. So what the fuck is Quake.js? Quake.js is basically a port of IO Quake free to JavaScript with the help of encryption. What that basically means is um, that you can play Quake free online or in LAN using just your internet browser. So you don't need any any type of a folder or any game installation of Quake or whatsoever. You can use uh, your internet browser, say Chrome, uh, you know, Microsoft Edge, uh, Firefox, Opera, uh, whatever internet browser you have to play Quake. And you also um, can play not only in bot, uh, you, you know, with bots and offline match, but you can also play in online with other people from all over the world and also in LAN, you know, in, in the same network. So basically what you're going to do here is this is the main uh, you know, the, the main web page of the project. Um, the, the person that actually made all this uh, is named Inolan, so a big uh, shout out to him. Uh, this uh, project is uh, available in GitHub, so it's an open source project. Here you can access all the files, and also um, there's this this guy named Sin uh, Bigley that made actually a fork of this original project, and he made a modification to make it to work completely independent without use of any master server or whatever. So Sin Bigley actually is the one that took the Inolan work and modified it to make it super playable. And also I'm going to have to thank to Ronfar623, which is the guy that actually discovered how to transform this project and to be able to play the full version of Quake 3. Because as you may know, this Quake.js uh, was originally intended to play with the demo version of Quake, you know, the demonstration version. But uh, this guy actually managed to kind of hack this project and make it so that you can use Quake Free full version. So we're going to start with this. So um, this can be a kind of tricky at first, but once you just follow all the simple steps, uh, you find that it's very simple. It's a very simple process, but uh, that's why I made this video. I was not very sure about making this video, either make it or not, but I decided to make this video uh, anyways because I thought it was a good um, guide to, you know, to teach people that want to do this um, in their computers. So basically, um, there's basically two options that you're going to take in order to make this. Uh, you have to decide whatever you want to play or you want to make your server for a Quake-free uh, demo version, you know, the demonstration version, which is very little. It's like, uh, you know, less, less than 100 megabytes. Or if you want to make these uh, Quake.js for the full version of Quake-free. So once you make the... So why choose in between these two? So basically, if you use the demo version, you will be able to use uh, all sorts of internet browsers, say Chrome, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft Edge, Opera, in all the different um, internet browsers, the demo version is going to work. But if you choose the full version of the game, um, the only two browsers that the game is going to work is actually Microsoft Edge and Firefox. So. That's the decision you're gonna, you're gonna take before doing all this. Um, I'm gonna show you some demonstration first using the full version of the game, the version that only works for Firefox and Edge. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it works, and then I'm gonna teach you how to make everything work. So I already have all this thing configured. So let's start by um, you're gonna uh, execute the main server. We're going to open this program. Don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to do this just in a couple of seconds. Um, what I'm going to do is just fire up the server. I'm going to go and type cd quake.js. And then once we are inside the folder, we're going to pass... Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to copy this. And passed. 
and now the server is going to show up it's going to be launched and as you can see uh, the dedicated server it's already functioning and now we're going to just um, uh, you know fire up the web page you know that different clients are going to use in order to connect to my dedicated server so I'm going to launch UWAMP and here I'm going to allow the access of this and as you can see it's already launched so I'm going to check if everything works I'm going to open Firefox and uh, obviously my IP I'm going to copy my external IP and I'm going to place it inside the, um, you know, the search bar. Sorry about that. Okay. And now, as you can see, I'm referred, by placing my external IP, I'm referred into uh, the computer, the computer server, and here we are playing the game. We're playing just fine inside the server, inside the internet browser. I'm gonna show you. Okay. I'm gonna go to the main menu of the game and I'm gonna show you that this is the full version of the game. As you can see, we have all the maps that came with the original Quake 3. Okay, so this is a little demonstration on how everything should work. Now let's teach you guys how to do this. So um, we're gonna learn how to do the demo version first, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, I'm, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna delete everything just to start from zero, and uh, so you guys can understand what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna delete this folder real quick, and I'm gonna just empty the recycle bin. So okay, so first first things first, you'll need this program. Win. So we're gonna copy this, we're gonna go into Google and we're gonna go into the main page of this program. What you're gonna do is just download this and um just execute it of course. So what the fuck is Sigwin? Sigwin is basically a program that um enables you to use uh, you know Linux commands inside a Windows operating system so um, once you open up the setup program of Sigwin you're just gonna click next install next next choose whatever proxy server you want to choose um, the you know all the necessary files are gonna be installed and here you will be prompted with this little window and what you're gonna do is just select full, view full, and here you'll see all the different packages uh, available for you to download. But of course, you don't need to download every single package. The package that you will need to download are gonna be included in this little guide that is gonna be included inside my pack. So obviously, if you go, just like, as a side note, if you go to my webpage, into the forum as always, if you go to Hacking Games, and if you go here, you'll see it's not it's not created I'm gonna create it in a couple of seconds uh, you'll see the thread about quake JS so once you download the necessary files you'll have something like this this is a little rare you'll be able to get uh, with the demos version the full version already is assembled you don't have to do anything else everything is gonna be pre-configured and the little guide here so little guide is gonna be like something like this and here you'll you'll notice all the different packages that you'll have to place here inside Sigwin copy and paste it in here and as you can see we, you, you will be able to notice which package uh, you just place in the search bar so now you're gonna go in the, in the little black bar in, in the little black arrow and select the latest version and obviously do the same with the other packages so do the same with each one of these packages and just uh, select them with the black arrow and select the latest version and then click next so once you select all the different packages, all these uh, my my packages are actually these ones, or all these is, are the ones that I actually installed. So then go to next. The packages are gonna be installed, and you'll be ready to go. So uh, once you are done installing Sigwin, you'll get something like this. This is gonna be the console that you'll get. So uh, basically, what you're gonna do is uh, now type this in order to get the you know the source code 
uh, from GitHub, just copy this this and just uh, type this and just uh, click enter. So this the files are gonna be downloaded, and once you download all this crap, I'm gonna close this. Uh, you just have to take uh, CD Quake JS, and you'll um, okay. Oh yes, I deleted the folder. I'm I'm stupid. So what what I'm gonna do is actually just save up some time, and uh, and I'm I'm just gonna copy this. I, I'm gonna copy. We're gonna start with the demo version, okay? So I'm gonna copy this. You should be um, you should have created a folder something like this inside the C unit, C Win 64. Uh, you know, you go to home, and inside here you'll you'll be able to see the username of your computer. In my case, it's Gravisoft, and here all all your projects that you downloaded with this program. So I'm gonna pass this. Um, this thing, I'm gonna just delete this, and now you're gonna have QuakeJS. So uh, once you type CD QuakeJS, you'll be able. We're gonna clear. You will be able to uh, execute certain commands. So first time you do it, you just have to npm install, and then um, start the dedicated server for the first time by putting this command. Something like this. You just have to enter. And the first time you do it, a lot of um, you know uh, stuff of copyright is gonna prompt. You just have to hold enter until you are asked if you wanna accept. You just click in yes, and then uh, you just wanna uh, close the server. So once you execute the server, we're gonna just delete this. We're gonna execute the server with the following command. Okay, that was not expected. We're gonna just select this and passed. So the server is gonna be launched, and um, if you see all this crazy shit, the the dedicated server should be working fine. So um, so basically that's it. The dedicated server is already assembled. So now the the second part of the video of of, of you know the tutorial is basically learning how to uh, manage the website that everybody is gonna enter in order to access your dedicated server. So we're gonna minimize this uh, dedicated server here, and uh, what you're gonna do is actually gonna close this. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Fine, so um, what you're going to do is uh, configure the web page. So we're going to go into the demo UWAMP. <coughs> we're going to open this with this little, uh, you know, folder. And uh, you're going to go into the www folder. And here you'll see all these types of uh, different files. Um, I'm going to explain you very, you know, very briefly what all these files do. Basically, these are the icons that a web page is going to use. This is the main web page that people are going to access. This folder is the, the actual files, you know, the actual client of the game, all the files here. And um, basically what you're going to do is, uh, first off, open a notepad. If you have notepad++, it's also okay. Just drag this index.html, and here you'll see all the each HTML code of the web page. So basically, what you're gonna do is go scroll down all the way down, and the most important line of code is this one, the one that doesn't have slashes, the one that's here. And here you'll, uh, you know, identify two types of IP. You have this this IP and this IP. Of course, these two IPs are my external IPs. So if you want to make an, uh, you know, a dedicated server or, or a server that is actually external so that people from all over the world can access your server you should place here your external IP so your external IP should be placed two times in here if you want to make a LAN server so people that only are connected in the same network can connect so it's a LAN here you have to place your local IP of your router so in order to do that just go into CMD and just type ipconfig as always and uh, just identify your IPv4 address 
and just place this IP here and here. So, um, so what is what is this? Basically, the first IP, what it tells you is uh, where does your computer connect uh, so that it can get the assets folder. So here, the FSCDN is the content folder that access the assets folder. And the second IP is basically the one that tells the computer to connect to the dedicated server location. So connect, dedicated server, FSCDN or whatever, to the asset folder, I mean to the client folder. So basically once you have configured all this crap, just close it and save it and we are ready to go. Um, I saved you some trouble for you guys, so I already downloaded all the different assets so you don't have to look for them separately, which is a pain in the ass. So all everything is going to be included inside my package as always. So uh, once you have all this, just return we're going to close, just return to the root folder of UWAMP and just execute this. So now, obviously, the first time you execute it, it's going to tell you to allow, uh, you know, the access. And here it should be uh, already started. So now what you're going to do is just minimize this, close the window, and now we have the dedicated server running and also the web page running. So now, uh, currently, if everything works fine, um, if you just type your external IP, once again, you should be able to access, you know, the game. Uh, as you can see, we are using Google Chrome. That's because uh, we are using the demo version. Uh, remember, the demo version only works, I, I mean, the demo version works with every single fucking internet, uh, uh, you know, internet browser, so you don't have any problems. This is the demo version, so we're going to agree, and the game is going to be downloaded. Um, the demo version is very light. I, I think it's uh, something like, uh, let's see how, how, how heavy this shit is. It's not very much. It's like 200 megabytes, but those are not going to be downloaded. Basically, this is the ones that are going to be downloaded to like 100 megabytes, so it's very, very light. So now once the, the files are downloaded, Radio, so uh, it's gonna be auto uh, fix. You know the, the the screen resolution and stuff. It's gonna be auto arranged. So basically, as you can see, this is actually the demo version. As you can see, uh, there are a lot of maps that are not present. And also, if you go into setup, the player models are very few. You only have these models. So um, you can use the demo version. It's, it's cool because it's very light. People will be able to download a client in a, you know, in, in a flash, and um, it's very quick. It's very easy to do. So and also, it's it, the nice thing about the demo version is that it works in every single internet browser as always. So now we're gonna close this, and um, what I'm gonna teach you guys is the next part of the tutorial which is kind of complicated. <laughs> the next part of the tutorial is basically how to convert uh, um, you know the, the demo version into the full version. You don't have to worry about this really because I already as I told you I already made a package for you guys so you don't have to do any of this. Uh, everything is gonna be pre-made. Everything is done. But if you wanna learn a bit about this I'm gonna teach you anyways. So um, what I did basically in order to get this amazing pack was to convert this demo version inside uh, into full version. So uh, as you can see here, Quake 3 full version tutorial. The full version works only for Firefox and Edge and the demo version works for everything. So uh, what you're going to do, uh, this method could also work if you want to add custom maps more content inside your game, not only the full version, but maybe some custom models and custom maps downloaded, you know, elsewhere from the internet. So what you're gonna do is basically <clears throat> make sure that the, um, you know, that the uh, that the pack zero is light enough. As you can see, pack zero 
is 174 megabytes. In fact, the normal pack zero from the full Quake free and uh, you know game is like 400 something megabytes. So in order to th shrink it as much as possible, you have to um, extract this by just uh, change the you know the extension, and you'll have to uh, basically take the video files and take the music files and convert it to zero kilobytes. As you can see, size zero zero zero. How you do that? Just create a notepad. Just save it as whatever. Here you can see, and maybe, uh, and then you just have to rename every single file, WinWeb, copy, past, yes, and here you'll have a, a, you know the file that is actually zero bytes. So once you do all all these, as every single one of them, like it's, it's a stupid fake clone, you just have to drag it inside here and overwrite it. And once you do that with all the music and all the video files, you just have to, well, you just have to um, rename it and repackage it inside in, into a PK free, so that Quake Engine can read it. So basically. Remember, you don't have to do this because I already done it. Uh, but once you do that, your pack zero should be uh, shrinked, uh, you know, considerably. So once you do that, that's the first step. The second step is actually editing the JavaScript uh, files. So what you're gonna do is go into the Quake JS server folder, which is which was this that the one that it should be placed inside a C wing. Uh, well, you're gonna go into the build folder and we're gonna edit these two files. First, what you're gonna do is the dedicated server file. Uh, what you're gonna go is um, search for this line of code. We're gonna copy it, we're gonna open it with Notepad Plus, and uh, we're gonna search for it with the search. We're gonna place this line of code inside the search and next find. Find next or whatever. Okay, let's just do this. And here you'll find this line of code. What you're gonna do is replace it with this other line of code. And once you replace it, obviously save it. I'm not gonna do all this, all of this shit because I've already done it. But basically, the ba the basic idea of this uh, tutorial is basically that. So once you do that, once you uh, do the you know the pack zero shrinking, uh, you have to execute the server. So remember to execute the server. I'm gonna just delete the demo here. Just excuse me for a second. Uh, we had the demo, the demo server. I'm gonna change it back into the full version. This is gonna be real quick. I know this can be kind of tedious, but I wanna make it. I wanted to make a video about this because I felt it was kind of important to make a a video about this complicated procedure. Okay, so once you have the full, um, you know, you, once you have uh, placed your um, PA key zero, remember this was the shrinked uh, version of the original Quake 3, uh, you just place it there. We already also ed edited this dead. And when, what you're going to do is actually execute the server now. So we're going to open this. We're going to do the same as always CD Quake. Uh, Quake JS. And once we are in the server folder, we're gonna uh, just copy this uh, launcher executable, and um, the server is gonna be launched. But before doing so, you'll identify all these different numbers. So what we're gonna do is just select them and then copy them. And um, you have to do something pretty, um, pretty complicated. Now we're gonna. Just copy these numbers. We're gonna open a notepad and we're gonna pass it. And here you'll identify the different numbers for each single pack. So for pack zero is this number, for pack one is this number, and so on. You'll notice that some numbers are negative and some numbers are positive. I mean with with, with minus and some with without minus. Minus. So 
what you're gonna do is some little math, a li little math problem. This is very t tedious, so just go with me, okay? So uh, first, what you're gonna do is just take the uh, positive numbers, the ones that are positive, and just take these numbers. So we're gonna take. What you're gonna do is take the positive numbers. First, take this number. This is gonna be the magic number, and then we're gonna do this, this little math problem. Minus, and we're gonna take the positive numbers. For example, this one, and uh, the other positive number is this one. So let's do that that little uh, calculation, okay? So we're gonna open the calculator. We're gonna select this number, and we're gonna uh, make minus, and we're gonna put this other number in here equals, and here we get the magic number. So this number is actually gonna be the one of package 4 and so on and for the negative uh, the negative values it's very it's much easier because you have to just take a copy of this it's the same number but you have to um, you know uh, give it one single number negative so what you're gonna do is um, subtract one unit so in this case plus min plus one is zero in this case this number Minus one is four, five, four. This number minus one is one, and this number minus one is zero. So um, you'll get a, a, a different list of numbers here. Those these numbers are really important now because we're going to use it in, in a couple of seconds. So. Um, you shouldn't have any problems with the, all these numbers from package. The most important number is the one from the pack zero, uh, really. So, what you're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna edit a couple of files now. Uh, what you're gonna do is edit the uh, once again the IO Qu uh, Quake Free dead dedicated uh, you know JavaScript file. We're gonna go back into the server folder. We're gonna go into build, and we're gonna go into this little file and edit it with notepad plus so now here what you're gonna do is just uh, search for this term limit use software license we're gonna just copy it and uh, we're gonna search for this once you get into here just make sure to go all the way down to the other side of the code and uh, yeah so here you'll you'll identify different uh, parameters. What you're gonna do is just delete when it says Linux demo that little portion you have to delete it, and when it says you know um, base Q3 demo you also have to delete that shit. So the final product is gonna be Linux uh, Q3 a point, and also uh, you know all the different main pay pay uh, you know packages. Package zero, package one, and so on until the package eight. So also, uh, we're gonna take our uh, you know a result, our product of the number that we got a couple seconds ago. You're just gonna copy that number, and we're gonna pass it inside here. We're gonna override the already present number. So once you do that, we are already done with this little uh, file, and we're gonna just save it. We're gonna do the same with the other file. We're gonna go back into the folder that we were. And we're gonna open IO Quake Free and do the same. Do the same same procedure. Just override the number and delete all the demo th stuff that we're gonna find. And then we're gonna do the same with the other file, which is gonna be present not in the game server folder, but this case is gonna be present inside the uh, UW AMP uh, f uh, you know uh, page. We're gonna go into Asset folder and here. Uh, oh, sorry about that. We're gonna go to the main to the main folder. Sorry about that. And we're gonna open with Notepad this IOQuake Free JS. So once you open this uh, little file, you're gonna open it here. 
we're gonna look all the way down we're gonna do the same procedure go back to the code and here you'll find here you can see that you have um, Linux free demo uh, so this shit has to go uh, sorry about that Spro that that shit okay this shit about demo has to go this is no good and this demo q3 shit also has to go so no demo shit present and also remember that the package you know the pack zero uh, is not gonna be present so so you have to add it because the the one that it was originally was the demo so here you can see that um, I mean this is the one that you don't need but you need this base Q3 pack zero this is the one you need so you have to just delete demo and uh, you know um, change the the number by the number that we got so once you do that just um, also close it and save it and we're pretty much ready to go we have to do a couple more things yet so this is very very boring and very kind of difficult I have to admit so uh, once you do that little change uh, we're gonna go back into the web page so we're gonna go back here and this time around we're gonna go into asset folder and we're gonna go into manifest uh, JSON also remember that inside the you know the web page folder of assets you also have the base Q3 folder and here you'll have to paste all the different uh, packages uh, from Quake I mean you have to paste all these files from the original Quake game oh, sorry about that you know pay, pack 0 up to pack 8 you just have to copy them copy and then just pass it inside here like so but we're not done yet we are not done yet so what you're gonna do is actually um, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna uh, you know uh, edit this little manifest JSON that was uh, present inside the web page asset folder so we're gonna edit this shit and as always we're gonna delete this because it's Linux demo so demo we don't want that so we're gonna just delete this shit and um, we're gonna also we're gonna go scroll down all the way down okay so uh, what you're gonna do is actually do something like this so we're gonna um, pack 100 you're gonna you, you want that 101 that's okay and we're gonna add these little packages the pack 0 all the way uh, to the pack 8 so just copy this shit and just pass it inside here just add them something similar like this and here you'll notice that they have the compressed values and the checksum values. The checksum values is the number that we got just in a couple seconds ago from here. This is the checksum value. And the compressed value is the value that, um, you know, the file is actually worth, the, 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 you know, the weight of the file. So, for example, for pack zero, we're going to go to properties. And here the size, these are the numbers of the uh, compressed value. So we're going to go into pack zero. The compressed value is going to be this one. We're going to pass it. Obviously, you want to get rid of this. And here you have the compressed value correctly. And also the checksum. The checksum is, was the number that we got before. We're going to copy it. And the checksum is going to be this one. So we're going to um, overwrite it and do the same for all the packages. Most likely, the other packages are all, already going to be done. If not, you can check in this list they are gonna be exactly the same the one that is gonna be you know different probably is the pack zero this is the one that's gonna be more tricky so once you add all these little packages before doing anything the last thing that is um, left to do is actually go and um, you know add the uh, checksum so for pack zero this is gonna be the number copy and just have to rename these files with the number and little line the same for the other packages for pack, pack one just the number go to pack one place the number and a little line and so on and so on for the rest of the packages 
So once you do that, you should have your demo um, game and game server converted into a full uh, Quake Free uh, server. So I'm gonna delete this shit, and basically what you will end having is the full version of Quake. If everything works correctly, um, you should have the full version of Quake functioning uh, with, with no problems at all. So um, I'm gonna just uh, execute the server once again. So there we are, and just remember that the full version of Quake uh, is gonna be, uh, you know, more uncomfortable because not only uh, it only works in Edge and in Firefox, but also the download time and the download file is gonna be obviously much bigger than regular demo uh, demo version. So we're gonna open just, and this time around we're gonna open Microsoft Edge just for the sake of the video, just for the for the kicks out of it. And uh, we're gonna place. You can also get your external IP from this program here, and we're gonna place the IP here, and we should be able to enter the game. And uh, let's see. Okay, we are not showing any progress here. I wonder what is happening. Uh, okay, I, I see what kind of problem. We have the demo version actually. We had to change it back into the full version. So uh, we're gonna go back into the Sigwin home, grab yourself. We're gonna, I'm gonna delete this shit, and I'm gonna place my full version. I'm gonna rename it, and now we are done. Okay, so now I'm going to execute the server with this little command. And we're ready, and I'm going to launch the web page now. Okay, it's already running. Let's start it. And it should be working. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Microsoft Edge managed to connect just fine. So yeah, guys, so there was a, a little tutorial on how to make uh, Quake.js work for you. Um, you can either use the full version of the demo version, whatever fits you best. Um, you can get the files here. Uh, you don't have to do all this complicated procedure. Everything is going to be pre-configured. All you have to do is basically install, if you want, Psychwing. I'm not sure if it's going to work. If you don't install it, I highly suggest you to install at least Sigwin and install the packages, and then you just can drag, uh, you know, the files, uh, you know, to the C unit with all this crap and use the UWM directly. Everything's gonna be pre-configured. Everything's gonna be fine. The only thing that you have to change, obviously, is the index um, index page here. You obviously have to have to put your own IP. This is the only thing that you have to modify. But other than that, the game should be working fine. The server should be working fine. And remember, guys, uh, I told you like 10 times now. If you're using the full version, remember that Firefox and Edge are the only ones that are going to be able to play it. If you're using the demo version, Chrome or Opera or uh, whatever other browser, they are going to be able to play them. So all the different browsers, demo. Just Firefox and Edge, full. So OK, I hope you like this video. I hope it was not very long for you guys or, or super boring. I know it can be a, very, a, a little bit of a boring video this time around, but I, I thought it was going to be pretty useful and it was 
it's kind of a gimmick. I know it's 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 not very it doesn't make any a lot of sense, especially because of the you know you can get the game from GOG or Steam, and you know the the game folder actually is it's not very heavy. You know my own Quake folder is like six giga gigabytes, but that's because I have a lot of packages and add-ons installed and stuff. But you know, normal Quake is like a one gigabyte. Also, it comes with Mission Pack. I mean, with Team Arena. So yeah, but I thought it was pretty interesting, a pretty nice project. So I hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe and like into my YouTube channel uh, here, Gravisoft. And um, yeah, a big shout out to the creators of this project. See you next time, and I hope you get you have a great day. Bye.